It's been a couple of months, but I finally finished this. It's a 54 caliber matchlock uh, musket, and this barrel is just two tubes welded together. And then the stock I made from a tube by eight. And then this, I 3D printed this uh, trigger mechanism. And the flash pan cover is also 3D printed. It has a pretty light trigger pull. And you just put the, the slow match in here. And it flicks the slow match into the flash pan. And I've tested the barrel already, but I haven't tested the whole stock yet, so we'll see how that goes today. And these are the bullets I'm going to be shooting today. And this small one is 70 grain. It has a 3D printed Sabo. Same with this, but this is a 145 grain. 3D printed Sabo as well, it's just black. This one is solid lead. It's about 300 grain. And this is a shot cup. I've never shot one of these before. It's 3D printed shot cup with shot inside. And this one's about 320 grain. So I'm first gonna bench test it with all four of these bullets. And if it holds up good, then I'll shoulder fire it. All right, so I bench tested this and everything looks the way it should. I mean, there is a little powder burn from the priming powder I'm using, but that doesn't count as damage. That's just something you clean after using it. But other than that, this gun is holding up very good. So now I'm going to shoot all the different weights of rounds uh, with my hands, and I'll be shooting at this quarter inch piece of mild steel just to see how much damage the bulls do. Alright, so this is what I have so far. I shot two 70 grains and one 145. I think this is one of the 70 grain hits. The other one, uh, I think it hit the ground or something. This is 145 grain. This is a uh, 30 out 6, so just ignore that. But this is 145 grain. It made a nice bulge. Now I'm going to go on to 300 grain. Alright, so this is the 145 grain hit, and this is the 300 grain hit. Uh, the 300 grain has less penetration, even though it has more mass. I think that's because it tumbles. These don't tumble as much, but this is a smoothbore musket, so I don't expect it to be very accurate or fly very straight. So now I'm going to try to shoot these shot cups that I made at a piece of sheet metal to see how much it spreads and how much power it has. All right, so this is the shotgun round that I had shot. Um, I was shooting it at about maybe seven yards, so it didn't spread that much, except for a couple of outliers, but the large group stayed in the center over here. All right, so now I have three gallons of water in the row, and I'm gonna shoot it with a 300 grain bullet to see how many it goes through. All right, so over here, it completely blew the first one apart. And then the second one, it barely nicked it, so it's just leaking. So on the last gallon that I have, I'm going to shoot with the shotgun round and see how much damage that does. Alright, so this is what's left of it. It just completely blew it apart. Since this barrel is so long, it retains its group of shot very good, so this uh, gun would be really good for hunting. Alright, so I made these 350 grain shot cups. And here's a 300 grain solid lead bullet for comparison. These are just 3D printed, basically cups, and they're filled with lead shot, and then 
I just have a little wad of toilet paper on the tip to hold it together and it's kind of like a canister round but whenever it leaves the barrel it shatters and lets the shot loose so I'm going to be doing a range test with these and shooting them at different distances to see how the power differs at each diff distance and uh, how much the shot spreads at each of the distances. So here's a shot at 10 yards. You can see that it's mostly keeping together in one group. The canister didn't fully break up yet. There are some outliers that spread out, but overall most of the group is staying towards the center. I think I guess these are just two pieces of the 3D printed uh, plastic, but for the most part it looks good so far. Alright, so here's my 20 yard paper, and I had to do a couple shots, and on each shot, only like a couple of speckles would appear. And I guess this is from a piece of shot cup. And then I thought that was weird, so I decided to just head on to 30 yard. This is one shot, only a tiny amount. And it shouldn't be a problem with the gun since it's a small caliber. And then I saw this over here. This is a piece of shot cup. And then whenever I took it out, there was a bunch of shot inside that hole that just poured out. So it turns out these shot cups aren't breaking up as I'd imagine they would do. And they just, since they're so long and not very aerodynamic, they just go off course instead of hitting the target. So I'm going to have to redesign these shot cups. Alright, so in order to test my hypothesis, I'm going to load this one. This is my last 350 grain shot cup at this quarter inch plate. I'm going to shoot it at about 10 yards and see how much damage it does to just one little spot. If it's a lot of damage, then that means they're not breaking up in flat. Alright, so as you can see, it hit right over here, and then it's a very condensed um, area, and it's slightly dented, slightly dented the whole plate. And that's not these two. This just bent the corner up a little bit, but this shot slightly dented the whole plate. And so I'm running out of things to shoot, so I'm just going to shoot this old chainsaw engine block bit I had laying around. See how much damage it does to it. Alright, so I shot it somewhere over here. And it blew these two pieces apart. So I'm going to try to shoot it again, but up here. Alright, so I shot another 300 grain bullet and it hit right over here. And you can see this thing's falling apart. So, I'd say it's pretty powerful. Alright, so just to finish this video off, I have a railroad tie that I found over there. And I'm going to shoot it with one of my 145 grain bullets to see how much damage it does. So this is the, from the very first shot cup that I shot. And this is the one I just shot. The very slight dent, maybe a sixteenth of an inch deep. But I mean, I didn't expect much because this is a three quarters of an inch steel. All right, so this will be the end of the video. I'd say this gun was very well worth the time making, and it's very fun to shoot. It's very versatile. I can shoot the shotgun shells or shot cups, as I call them. Um, I can shoot different weights of solid projectiles, and even though it's a smooth bore, it's actually pretty accurate. Um, in the future, I'm going to try to redesign the shot cup, maybe add some pedals that split away in flight, and depending on how good the design works, I might try to go turkey hunting this fall or something, but 
Um, if you like this video and if you want to see more stuff like this, like and subscribe, leave a comment and future suggestions as long as it's not too out of my abilities to make a boot. Um, I'll try to make more videos soon and I'll see you soon.